Shalom. Shalom. We want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahushai Ba'ashem Rakah Kadash. Want to set forth double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well and who has taught us this truth. Uh, Shalom, Wa Barakim, La Bakarim, peace and blessings to the elect. And Lord's will, this be an edifying video. I'm the brother Shamashwan. Brother Shamwala. And uh, we were just uh, riding together and just speaking on, um, you know, the, the, the seasons for things, you know. And uh, uh, there's a lot of Jake out here and these. Uh, False camps are right, that that's it, that they're not in the spirit of Yahweh Shai yeah. because the scriptures say the spirit of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. That's right. All right, and if you if you understand if you understand prophecies, all right, you understand the time and the season which we're in. We're not in the time and season of of building up this huge family. Yeah. All right, that that's gonna come in the time of the kingdom. God. All right, and that's definitely that's a hard pill to swallow for most. Yeah, God. All right, but the scriptures talk about the bitterness, man. The bitterness of this of this word, man. That's right. That's right. All right, and um, another another thing the scriptures say: endure hardness. Yep. As a good soldier of Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. Matter of fact, yeah, let's go ahead and get started with that real quick. Um, Second Timothy chapter two. Uh -huh. Um, my first. Yeah, Second Timothy. This is uh Second Timothy chapter two. And verse uh, 2 Timothy 2 and 1. It says, uh, and the, the heading says, be strong. Yahweh the Heavenly Father and His Son, has always commanded us throughout His Word to be strong. All right? It says, thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai. All right? Because right now, currently, we're in a grace period. Mm -hmm. All right? We're in a period of time that the Lord has given us to get right with him. That's right. Get our spirit right. Yeah. And how are we going to get our spirit right? We have to constantly be meditating on his word. So when he comes back, he can accept us. That's right. All right, because the majority of this world is going to be rejected at the Lord's coming. Yeah. All right, because what? They're not they're not getting right. All right, they got the, they got their mind set on vanity. You know, and, and what's a what's a what's some vanity that our people got their minds set upon? Families, yeah, man. Building families. Building, building families right. and, right. and becoming uh billionaires yeah. and yeah. and just thinking that this kingdom's gonna dwell forever, man. Yeah. And you know, and, and of course our flesh wants to do these different things, but we gotta mortify our members on earth, man. Yeah. That's right. We gotta always be sober minded, understanding that we're in the time of the end, man. <laughs> This is the season of the uh, the reconditioning and um, is it how to call this one? shit? The reconditioning, you know, and uh, 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 of course the the watchman. Let me go past it. Slow it down. Um, the reconditioning and the conforming to the image of the Lord in the season that we're in right now, man. You know, being washed from you know the, the filth of this world. You know, because like you were saying, the only thing that this world has to offer is what man is is is, is wickedness, man. You know, it's everything is in complete uh, 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 um, opposition, yeah, or contrary or opposition to the will and the way of the Lord. You know, and in in order to to uh, to be able to come out of that, you know, there's a certain type of spirit that you, we got to be in. You know, like what you just spoke about being a soldier. You know, being in a state. You know, I, we, uh, you know, brothers usually bring it out. Um, soldier going into you know solo or solitary. You know, and to be in that type of spirit, which, you know, we would be in, which, which, which the scriptures talk about going into the house of mourning, you know, rather to the house of birth. And and really when, when you're in a state of, you know, building, you know, or, or putting or investing within a, in a family and building a family. But that's the complete opposite spirit, you know. Right. What's, a, what's associated with family is, is mirth, is happiness, is gladness, you know. It's, it's everything that we're warring and fighting to get, which is, you know, which which uh, uh, goes into the kingdom, man. You right. Know? I'm going to continue going. Come. You know, at the end of the day, it's not wicked to do those things. It's just we understand we're not going to enjoy it in its fullness until the kingdom of heaven comes. You know, that's, right. that's going to be our gift. That's going to be our blessing because the scriptures say our children are a heritage of the Lord. Mm -hmm. This is Second Timothy 2 and verse uh, 2. It says, and the things... That thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men 
who shall be able to teach others also. And that's what we're doing. Each one teach one. Right. You know, we learn this word. We go out and we teach our brethren, man. Yeah. You know, that's the ultimate form of love that you can show towards your brethren. This is, uh, what is that? Uh, the passing, that's the passing of knowledge. Is, um... Ephesians. Yeah, is it Ephesians? Ephesians 3 or 2? Oh. This is the love. Uh, yeah, yeah, I search it up. Yeah, it could be Colossians. Passing knowledge. Not that it's Ephesians. Yes, Ephesians 3 and 19. It says, and uh, and to know the love of Hamashiach, which passive knowledge that ye might be filled with the fullness of the most high. Right. And that's that's essentially what, what our, our job is, man. You know, that's that's the thing. We 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 want to continue to really reiterate on the season and the time that we're living in. And the time that we're living in, man, is is a time of war. This is it's a spiritual war that's taking place out here for the minds, okay. Of what, man? These people, I namely uh, uh, the, the Israel Israelites, man, which are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and and the, the the job of the tempter, right, or Shatan, okay, is to is to sway you into going on to his in, into uh, 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 his realm, so to speak, man, and to moving according to how he how, how he has set up things, all right. Yep. But what through the passing of this knowledge, okay, which 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 the Lord set up, you know, certain men and gave them certain offices, you know, uh, uh, you know, the prophets, uh, the teachers, uh, uh, you know, uh, preachers, you know, all all for the edification of the of the saints of the Most High to build us up and to condition us, really to to come in to, to really to prepare us for the season and time that we're living in and coming into, all right. But also to, 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 to for us to get to oh so that we may get to the other side, man. Which is really to, is deliverance, you know, it's really what it's all about. You know? Come on. This is uh Second Timothy chapter two, verse three. It says, Thou therefore mm -hmm. endure hardness as a good soldier of a Mashiach I was shot. That's right. And like the brother already went into that word soldier goes into like being uh, alone. Yeah. You know, and uh, the Lord told us what to be holy. Even as our Father in heaven is holy, so our Lord, He He dwells alone, you know. Oh, yeah, kind. and we're gonna be we're gonna be like Him. Yeah, kind. There's another there's a scripture that says that uh, the Lord dwells in the high and holy place. That's what I was thinking. I was gonna tell you. Fact, I'm gonna get it real quick. <laughs> I was I knew I knew he was gonna uh, quote that Drake, bro. It's Isaiah 57, yeah. um, 57 and verse uh, 15. It says uh, Isaiah 57 and 17. Uh, 15. 57 and verse 15 It says uh, For thus saith the high and lofty one That inhabiteth eternity Whose mm -hmm. name is holy It's talking about the heavenly father man. That's right. It says his name is holy He's separate And he's the most high That's why it says the high and lofty one No one sits at a higher seat than the most high The Lord himself man That's right it says an in inhabitant eternity The Lord lives forever The scriptures say before the day was I am he The Lord is outside of time man. <laughs> hey this is heavy stuff man Go ahead brother Salah It says uh, Isaiah 57 and 15 For thus saith the high and lofty one That inhabiteth eternity Whose name is holy I dwell in the high and holy place mm -hmm. With him also That is of a contrite and humble spirit And that's the elect man God. And the elect they're, they're broken hearted and they're humble, they're beat down, man. Yep. All right, because the sacrifices that they, the hell that they're catching, the things that you got sacrificed, you got to give up your life, man, yep. to continually be a part of this truth, man. <laughs> hey, bro, you know what does he say? Knowing, knowing that your mind, knowing that you had went astray, seeking ten times more. We were just speaking about that, bro. Like, what understanding the, the the current you know situation or season? I got to keep saying that in the overall position that we're in, we, bro. We went off, you know, we went off, and. And to show, you know, our faith, to show our trust, to show our belief, you know, in the Lord, the Lord requires us to, to be in this current setting that we're in to really be proven, to really, to really, to really see if we really about him, if we really trust in him, if we really love him, you know, and, and all in all, that's going to lead us into what, man, 
you see the Lord set up this process because this is it's within that within that uh, uh, uh within that weight so to speak or within that patience that we are holding through the enduring all right through that which is i.e it, it correlates with the uh the baptism of fire right through that we're going to be perfected you know and but that's that's an acceptable spirit uh, uh, acceptable spirit unto the lord a broken and a contrite spirit right it's in psalms so that's the essential for this thing that we're in man and and and, and uh, uh, uh um to be uh, 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 in the season of mirth, like we were speaking about going, you know, investing in the family and doing all these different things. Nah, bro, that ain't, that, we ain't in that time, man. And you're going to be constantly reminded of that. Constantly, man. Right. But you got it, bro. The scriptures say to the time appointed of the father, when, mm -hmm. the, when the father appoints that time and he says uh, our sentence is over. Okay, which we're coming to, a, uh, we're coming to that soon. Yeah. Then we're gonna be in the time to rejoice, yep. be glad, and be merry. But right now, we're in a period of time of endurance. Yep. So I'm gonna finish this off. It says to revive the spirit of the humble, and to revive the heart of the contrite ones. And the Lord, He's about to revive us, man. He's about to give us power. Oh yeah. Over the nations, He's about to give us power over this flesh oh, and, and give us new bodies. That's right. But until then, we gotta wait. Yep. And part of waiting is suffering. So this is the. Um, That's what patience means, bro. Literally, to suffer. But you got it, bro. This is uh Second Timothy's, uh back in Second Timothy's, uh chapter two and verse. I read verse three again. It says, "Thou therefore endure hardness, as a good soldier of Hamashiach Yahushai. No man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier." So the Lord, he chose us. He gave us this honorable lot because what comes with being a soldier is honor and glory. All right. And the Lord has given us this opportunity to receive everlasting glory. All right. And what comes with it? We got to we got to count the cost. We got to make the sacrifice. We can't get ensnared and, and trapped up with all these different things yeah. that's in this world. Yeah. All right. We're harping on the family, but there's far more different traps out there. Money, yeah. uh, you know, land. Houses, yeah. women, children, yeah. everything the Lord said we that the elect are going to sacrifice for his name's sake. We got to make sure we constantly um, aren't getting trapped up in that. That's right. I was going to get... Oh, yo, go ahead. Oh, uh, yeah, just a quick one, just to go to that. Uh, this is second edges 14 and 14. Let me get there uh, real quick. Let go from the... You want to... Yeah, we'll grab it. Get yours? Yeah, uh, yeah. This is second edges 14 and 14. Let go from the mortal thoughts. Cast away the burdens of man. Put off now the weak nature and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee and haste thee to flee from these times for great for greater evils that that those which uh, thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. So we were given commandment what to let go from from the let go, let let go of the mortal thoughts, man, the earthly or the fleshly thoughts and put on what the spiritual thought, man, that the spiritual man or the new creature, which we are becoming with, within Yahweh Shai, man. Because it's we, we the thing is is we're putting on those white robes, but right now we're bathing in this oil and getting and 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 really being prepared for this uh, for this wedding ceremony that's about to take place, man. Okay, with Yahweh Shai and, and and his virgins, man, the ones that want defiled, okay, by that by that woman, which is which which goes into these different philosophies and doctrines, man, right? And I in which that that all goes into what, man, the the, the ways and the cares of this world. You know, anything that's pulling you and pushing you away from the Holy Spirit, man, from the Lord. And then it says, cast off now, now the burdens of man and put uh, put now off the weak nature. Because, this is, bro, that's a weak ass spirit to be in, man. You know, being being letting anything pull you away from your purpose. And our sole purpose is what, man? As Israelite man is to what? To do the duty of who, who sent us, man. You know, do the duty of really of Yahweh Shai who really gave his life. Sacrificed his life for us And it's our reasonable service To do what we're doing right now And to continue Alright Until we we Until the job is done Alright And then it says Set aside the thoughts That are most heavy unto you Hasty to flee from the time Because like we went into That second Timothy's Bro this is warfare And we're soldiers in this thing Okay And and those thoughts Really man It's, it's a spiritual war So you're fighting Different principalities You know You're dealing with These different situations That are manifesting In, our, in, in your life All to prove you All to 
uh, uh, take you through these certain things, of course, to teach you lessons, all right, to, 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 to try you, to test you, as brothers have just been saying. And um, it says, and, and to hasty to flee from the time, and it says, for yet greater evil than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. Because you, you don't want to find yourself in a, in, a, in a position where you're comfortable, all right, where you at. Okay, or comfortable in hell because we understand we can see where this is all going. I did a video this morning about um, going into what this, what's going on with this economy, what's going on with the dollar, and how all these roads and these paths are leading to one path, man, which is going into that uh, that mark of the beast. Okay, and how the the, the hour temptation, which is going to come on this whole world to try it. Okay, what type of spirit do you need to be in when 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 we in that season? Do you need to be Mr. Family Guy? No, you fucking don't, bro. You need to have what? What is that? Ephesians uh, uh, six when it's speaking about the um, the uh, Ephesians five speaking about the whole uh, put on the whole armor. Right, Ephesians uh, six. Yeah, yeah, put on all the armor. You know of the God uh, uh, of the of the Most High or the Spirit of the Lord. You know, speaking about the you know the shield of faith, the uh, having your, your your feet uh, uh, prepared or, or shod with the preparation of the gospel. You bless with the breastplate of righteousness. Okay, helmet of salvation. Hel and a helmet of salvation. The Lord has given us all of these tools because he he put us in this situation, man. So we got to fucking fight. You got to do, bro. No, nah, the point essentially was made. I just want to get the Ephesians because that's okay. what, that's what's, oh, not Ephesians, you know what I meant, Ecclesiastes. Oh, yeah, yeah, just yeah, the ending of that. Yeah, yeah three. I got it. Oh, you got God, it. Go ahead. This is uh, Ephesians 3 and 1 to every... Ecclesiastes, like, yeah. Ecclesiastes 3 and 1 to everything, there's a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. It's that simple. It is, bro. It is. It is. And you and you got to know. And you see, that's the thing, bro. It takes discernment, you know. And, and that's why we have to constantly be in a state of what? Examining ourselves, man. I did that video earlier this week, too. What is that? Uh, uh, 2 Corinthians uh, 3. Uh, 2 uh, Corinthians. You got to yeah. examine yourself. Yeah, examine yourselves, man. Whether you be in the faith, okay? It's, it's, it's a constant, you know, uh, 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 um, it's a constant state of putting your 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 overall thought patterns and your your actions underneath the uh, the microscope, man. All right, and 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 understanding what you are a part of, and and this first it, this first goes to the to, to the individual that's speaking it to me. You know, <laughs> this goes to me, but of course we have to echo these things out continuously because we know the nature of the battle. We understand the condition of the battle, man. You know. God. So that's that's the thing. I'm done. Man. Probably a couple so, more in Ecclesiastes. Just so. like I'll keep going. Uh, it says a time to be born, and a time to die. It says a time to plant. It says and a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. Right. So we're in the time of things being broken down, yeah. Yeah. but our spirit is being built up. That's right. And the kingdom is being built up. That's right. It's a cycle. You know, but we just got to continue to wait for you. How about shoot me out shy and discern what season we're in, man. Hell yeah. Don't get drunk and fall asleep with the world and get caught out there, man. Man. Yeah. With a, we got to stay on our watch. Right. You know, it is the spirit, like the Lord said, the spirit, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Okay. If we understand, you know, if the, if the, if the ram horn is being blown and, and, you know, an uh, uh, enemy is about to besiege besiege the uh, 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 the walls, okay, of the temple, right? You, bro, you you can't be sitting on your post, fucking, you know, got y bottles of yaya and shit, sleep, because if you if you're in that state, or you're not gonna be able to give off that warning, all right? So you we gotta constantly be on point, man. We gotta constantly be on point, you know. So I it, bro. Get ended on that, okay. so. Lord's will is edifying. We'll give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Rakal Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Shalom, Wabarakim, Blah, Bakarim. Peace and blessings to the elect. Shalom. Shalom.